Begin by marking the location of the wall from the drawings or by agreement with the engineer or customer. Excavate a trench 350mm deep and 600mm from front to back. For Diamond Pro Air, the front of the trench should be approximately 155mm in front of the desired wall face and 155mm at the back of the blocks. Compact the base of the trench using a plate compactor or heavy tamper. Lay 150mm of foundation material and compact again. Ensure the compacted level is 200mm below ground level, giving the first block greater stability. You're now ready for the first course of blocks. The top of the block has a locator lug and the bottom of the block is flat. Lay the first block in position on the compacted levelling pad. Set a string line to the depth of the Diamond Pro Air block from the desired wall face and in line with the back of the blocks. Check the alignment from front to back as well as side to side. Repeat to complete the first course of blocks. Fill at the front of the wall with soil. Fill the back of the wall and the cores with drainage stone. Single sized aggregate, 10 or 14 millimeters is ideal. After filling, brush the tops of the blocks to remove any excess material, ready for the next course. Lay out GeoGrid at each layer shown on the wall design plan. The grid must be placed in a correct direction and aligned to within 25 millimeters of the wall face. Pull it flat and tight before placing the next course of blocks directly on the previous course. Each block should sit equally on two blocks below. To ensure proper drainage of the wall, lay a perforated drainage pipe behind the blocks at this level. This pipe needs to run to a suitable outfall at least every 15 metres along the wall length. Before backfilling, check the alignment and level of this course of blocks and adjust if necessary. Backfill behind and inside the blocks with more drainage stone, extending 300 millimetres from the back of the block. Place soil or suitable backfill material behind the drainage stone and compact. Brush the surface of this course of blocks again, ready for the next course. Repeat this process for each following course, checking level and alignment as you build. Always check the upper block is fully engaged with a locator on the block below. Fill the cores of each course with drainage stone before laying the next. We recommend laying no more than two courses at a time to ensure block voids are fully filled. The drainage stone behind the wall should extend 300 mm from the back of the blocks. Backfill behind the drainage stone with soil or suitable backfill material. Compact using a plate compactor or heavy tamper, but don't compact the drainage stone. Brush off the surface of the blocks after backfilling each course. Continue repeating this process for each following course, placing grids at the level shown on the wall design plan. Always keep checking level and alignment as you build. Repeat until the wall reaches its planned height and backfill the last course with soil only, laid up to the back of the blocks. The top course of the wall can be installed upside down for easy capping. To finish the wall, fix the cap units using a suitable waterproof masonry adhesive. 